Hello everyone, this is Ahmed Dan of AhmedDan.com. Today I'll have another episode of unboxing and review video and I'll be presenting an Amazon watch uh, which was uh, something uh, interesting. Uh, it's going to be a different type of watch because uh, you know this watch uh, fairly looks uh, similar with another watch which I'll show you and then you know I'll uh, talk about some of the specs and everything. So it just about a few weeks ago I did another Amazon watch review uh, which I'll put in the description uh, box below and still I'm using uh, this watch which I have it uh, right here and today this is a digital uh, watch and uh, you know uh, let's uh, open up and take a look at it before we do that I'm going to uh, show you uh, some of the specs uh, Amazon didn't provide much specs about this watch on its website but I, I was able to gather some of the information right here so this is the full name of the watch Amazon Essentials Unisex Digital Chronograph Silicon Strap Watch so it's a handful name and then uh, let's uh, look at some of the features so this is a basic value watch and this is even 165 foot uh, water resistant and then uh, in terms of weight this is only 36.3 grams so very lightweight and uh, it looks identical to another watch uh, which you will see uh, very shortly and then it has actually a stopwatch alarm, um, backlight, uh, and you know uh, some features which will go over it. So I'll just uh, set it aside here. And the watch came in this box, which is the same box of the Amazon watch I previously you know, reviewed. So it looks like they're using the same box for uh, most of their watches. And if you wanted to know the model number which is right here so this is AE 104BLK uh, looks like 2206D so this is the model number here so let's start opening up uh, the watch okay so the box is empty and I'll just like you know uh, set this box away so they included an instruction manual right here and it has some of the features and you know setting uh, selecting features and uh, setting the time and calendar And then looks like uh, there is some sort of uh, warranty card. Okay, actually it comes with even a three-year uh, warranty, and you know they just you know applied uh, or provided more instructions right here. So I'm not going to go through it, uh, but. I'll just look at the watch now. So this is a true review. So what it means that there's no affiliated links, no nothing. I'm not going to make money off you. So whether you know you buy this watch or not, uh, it doesn't uh, matter for me, because there's no like you know I don't make any money or commission. And I haven't uh, looked at this watch before. Uh, this is my first time I'm looking at it. Uh, you know, uh, it's just like you know if you're buying something and looking at it for the first time. So I haven't mastered the product, so definitely, uh, like you know, this is uh, the probably the only true and honest review you're going to find. So let's look at it right here. So I'm going to just you know uh, open the watch, and the first thing I'm noticing, even without looking at the watch, is that the silicone strap is very comfortable and very like you know uh, it feels really good. And then uh, if you look at the watch right here and definitely this looks like a very familiar watch and if you're wondering what would that be I'm going to show you the legendary Casio F20 I'm sorry F91W watch which is right here and you can see the similarities uh, between these uh, this one slightly bigger but definitely it you know uh, anyone whenever someone is looking at it they're going to think of the Casio F91W watch so definitely there is a lot of similarities between these two watches so I'll just uh, set this aside I also have a review of this watch uh, you'll find on my channel so here so 
on uh, let's look at the face looks like there's a protection uh, or protective cover and I'll just you know remove this okay so it's just coming off uh, easily I'll just set it aside here now what I'm looking at or what I'm noticing is the bold face you know the big numbers and kind of there's a red border uh, on the outer side and everything's kind of like you know blending very nicely it looks really nice but you know the water resistant 165 feet and the alarm chrono and kind of the white like you know writings and everything it kind of a little bit sticks out but not a lot uh, still it looks like you know very good and let's look on the back of the watch so this looks like you know stainless steel cover uh, to you know make it uh, water resistant and it doesn't say much on the back so let's look at it here so if you compare this with Casio F91W uh, the numbers are bigger uh, one thing I'm noticing here you know the watch from the side is a little bit difficult to see it but you know still okay but it's kind of like you know uh, it, it has a very good view when you're looking at straight but if you are kind of like you know trying to look from a sideline then just a little bit not that clear but I couldn't complain about that much on this now let's take a look at uh, some of the settings here so here we have the mode button and here we have the EL button um, I don't know what does that mean and here is the stopwatch and so let's see if I press the stopwatch I don't see anything happening so let's try to you know press the mode button and here actually looks like you know this is the mode to start the stopwatch and then you press mode again looks like you're seeing the alarm and then if you are if you keep pressing it then it just you know taking you to through the different mode and although you cannot see it but if you press this button it's like you know the backlight button it kind of giving you very greenish uh, like you know light I'll try to, try to uh, put it uh, I try to darken this watch so you can see it so let's say I have it right here and so you can see right now it's not in diglo but it's kind of feels like like you know very nice like you know back light which is good enough to see at night so I like that feature there and uh, in terms of like you know the buttons they're not too like you know uh, they're not too loose not too tight so they're just you know comfortable uh, and what I'm going to do let me just like you know word this and see how it feels so it feels really nice you know to wear it and if you uh, would complain that Casio F91W is very small on the wrist then definitely this is you know um, bigger than Casio F91W if you have complaints about Casio F91W that you know it's a very small then definitely this one is a bit bigger and you know it has a greater view of the time so it, it's much easier to like you know look at the time and the other thing I can tell you that you know it doesn't show the date on the main screen uh, but you know if you look at the Casio F91W then it has the like you know uh, the day and date on the main screen but here I don't see it on the main screen but you can uh, just like you know if you if you push this button then you have Then looks like you know you can see the date and number you can see the date and month on screen so overall i'm happy with the product uh, i purchased this about 16 dollars canadian 
which I would say, you know, very cheap. It's slightly cheaper than the Casio F91W, but it looks like, you know, very similar and, you know, uh, it just a little bit like, you know, bigger and the face is bold. It has that bold look or like, you know, it kind of sticks out. Uh, because of the red border and the big numbers and the white highlights uh, which is kind of blending with the black uh, case and the strap so comparing the price you know I cannot complain about the watch and uh, the first Amazon watch I discovered just like you know a few weeks ago which I already mentioned you before is uh, this one and I have a review of this one uh, which you'll find in the description box below and then I purchased uh, this Am Amazon uh, unisex uh, chronograph uh, digital watch because it looks so much like uh, you know the Casio and then I just wanted to uh, you know do a review and show you guys uh, for that reason I purchased this watch so thank you for watching this video Forget about subscribing this channel, forget about liking this video, uh, there will be more videos coming up, so I'll see you shortly. Thank you.